Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. I got part two out of my Run Balance playbook, my single back ace double wing. I made a video about how dominant the pass plays in this formation is a little while back uh, because somebody used these pass plays against me uh, in a game, and I just I had no answer for it. I won the game. I'm not gonna. Spoil it. I mean, I still found my way through the game, but it was one of the most annoying offenses I had to play against all year, and I only saw it once. So I know that the Madden community is not turned on to this playbook and how dominant this formation can be. I just did part one, which is run plays. I'll pop a link for that. Like I said, I'll try to find uh, the 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 game footage of um, of that particular game and, and pop a link for that too if you want to see that in action. But either way, uh, this this formation it looks like a run heavy formation, and believe me, it really is a good one. But uh, there's some really good pass plays in it, too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some of these plays. The first one, which is one of the tougher ones for me, was the tight end corner. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Uh, we're going to run. I mean, if you really want to, you know, I, I can hear the comment section already. If somebody's going to be like, well, I'll just run nickel or dime. No, you can't because somebody will just flip into, flip into a, a run play and just tear you apart. So I got to stick to the 4-3. I know some people might not think, you know, I'm giving myself enough challenge because these are pass plays. But realistically, you can't go to formations like this because you're just going to get mauled. So let's go ahead and let's go random 4-3. So this particular formation, there's there's a couple different things you can do. I feel like the uh, Lovato's route, I don't really care for that. I mean, if it was on a drag, I think I'd like it a little bit better. Uh, but realistically, I think the tight end corner... Um, which is something that a lot of people uh, a route a, a formation that a lot of people like to run is probably your best audible um, as you can see here I mean you got a cornerback on I don't even think Laval's a tight end. I think he's like a long snapper but if you want to um, put you know maybe a fullback or somebody you have to have a lot of good tight ends to run this formation but if you play mutt realistically you do I mean people have a, a, a million good everything in mutt so you're gonna need that for this um, but that I would say Lovato, I would either have him in his bench switch or just put him in a drag as your check down and he'll work well under the triangle route uh, Realistically, so the big play here is square. I mean that especially it's covered too. I mean, that's just he's not even covered So th that's really your progression. You're gonna see square get open quite a bit uh, Sell it's pretty good, too um, I think that the running back he's good to block but you have the option to motion him out if you want him to do something else uh, I don't really think that this combination is good with him um, you know, I, I like Lovato, I didn't mean to put Lovato in the in the drag. You can put R1 in the drag, and he's still giving you a pretty good checkdown option. Uh, but this is a really good option here. But you can see how there's just such a spread formation, and Burton's just eating up in the middle there. You don't even need you don't really need to make audibles. I think Lovato um, is best served like that. But if you want to run it just like this, like I said, the drag is a little bit safer. But if you want to run it just like this, it's a pretty good setup. Uh, here we got is that Ertz the other way. Uh, as you get some separation anytime you got man coverage his man's gonna get destroyed by this yeah i feel this is really one of the harder formations to cover especially in pass plays because when you're getting beat on the ground the way that this formation beats on the ground you're gonna start blitzing you're gonna start taking chances you're gonna start you know those linebackers are gonna suck in and uh, that's what's really gonna make uh this is a really great play action formation i know this isn't the play action but for whatever reason why is Ertz beating outside like that that is insane i don't know why this formation does that uh, but you can see, even with corners and safeties covering Ertz and Lovato, they're getting outside. I mean, that's just the way this formation is. I mean, once again, like, I don't know where that guy's going, but he's just giving up Ertz every time. I don't know what he's covering there. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like I said, Selk didn't catch it. He's not that great. He's really old and slow. But you can see how it just pulls lanes. I'm not even sure what defense this is. It looks like they're running cover two consistently right now. So this is a really glitchy setup here. Just putting him on that beat. So once again, see how he just runs off like that? It's the same setup every time. It looks like they're running cover two every time. Watch the replay. You have the safety down the box because of the setup. And then he has to react. And he just sprints back and just gives the lane to slow bump Selleck every time. I mean, that guy just runs out into the flat. Like, that flat just pulls him down, like, right away. He's not even in a position to really choose between the two. By the time the ball's delivered, he's just wide open. I mean, that's just... That's Sean Lee, too, man. That was number 50. I didn't even know that. So, let's go ahead and let's move on. Sean Lee is one of the best linebackers on this team. And in the game, in my opinion. Especially when it comes to zone coverage. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to the next pass play, which is the PA counter waggle. Like I said, eventually, play action is going to be king with all the run plays. Make sure you watch that first video, like I was saying. So what I would suggest to do is um, I like putting Ertz across the field. I already have the low route there represented. 
So putting him going across the field is uh, is much better. But you can see, like I said, this guy's gonna have a really quick open route. That was not a very athletic move there. Yeah, this play, you can run it just like this. Um, this is a pretty good setup. Uh, I like the check and release that the uh, that the X route is doing, but the play's really all about this outside tight end. It's a horrible tight end. Lovato's like a 50 overall, but any normal tight end when they get open there. But um, yeah, this uh, if you put if you leave Ertz in that check and release, he's gonna run to sell. Like, I want him to just sprint out right away, and you can see how he's just wide open in the flat there. That's gonna be your best bet. A check and release is just is just crap. I'll go ahead and I'll show you the check and release real quick. Um, like I said, you're gonna see how they basically end up at the same spot a lot of the times. It didn't really work out anyway, but they're too close. So the check and release is 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 problematic. I really wish I would have switched Burton over with Lovato. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the other side and flip it. So we're gonna flip the play. There's no animation when you flip the play, which is cool. Um, it's not gonna give anything away. And we're gonna run it to a real stud tight end in Burton. Chicago just got a nice tight end when they picked him up. You can see how athletic he is and how easy he makes that play look. Uh, Selleck, I, I mean, I would rather have Ertz doing what Selleck's doing, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So here we go, Burton once again. This dude's a monster. Base, almost a touchdown there, who knows. Yeah, and another thing you can do, is you can motion over Ertz. Take away the play action in this scenario. You can't use this this type of play with a play action, but you're gonna see how quickly he gets open. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna run this, quick snap it, um, go ahead and put it. It doesn't always work against cover two, but that looked like cover two and it worked. So I'm gonna try to do it again. If it's a cover three, it's gonna be incredible. If it's a cover four, it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna have that all day. But um, this looks like another cover two, but I'm gonna go ahead and run it anyway. So what we're gonna do, like I said, cancel that play action. Looks like it's, um, I don't know what that was. I didn't mean to float it up there, but it still caught it and ran it for about 10. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip it. It really has nothing to do with the play. Uh, flip it, motion them over. Like I said, this whole play can be stopped if you don't, <laughs> if you still have the play action on it, it takes the whole thing away because you really need to throw this right away. You can see here, he just kind of, I don't know why, but the defender just kind of fades. It's an easy 5 to 10 every time. I said not necessary unless you have a really good athlete like if you have a really good athletic tight end he like Ertz is you can probably beat a cover two this looks like a cover two I would say cover two isn't necessarily the best defense to run this against but Ertz is really good <laughs> so he gets outside of it anyway like I said I don't, maybe that wasn't a cover two but he beat it and I'm looking you know like I said five yards is probably the minimum I want out of that um, I, I think you get much more. If you have a more, like, Earth, what, 79 speed or something like that? I'm not sure what he is now. Maybe they improved it. But if you get, like, an 80-plus speed tight end, real athletic, he's going to get even more. Once again, cover two. He's just beating that. He just sitting, sits down right in front of the cover two guy. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.